and actually in a rare interview, our own Dr. Orden interviewed one of the alleged victims, Raji, and a reconstructive surgeon, Dr. John Martin. Have a look. So Raji, tell me, how did you get involved with O'Neill Run? I am a transgender woman, right. and um, you know, I was on hormone therapy for a while, and I was at the point where I wanted to take my transition further, and didn't have the resources financially to do so. So because I didn't have the resources, I chose to go this route. You knew this person wasn't a doctor, and right. the injections were basically being done in an apartment. That's correct. I started with my face. So it was, my face was fine. It actually looked really good at first. And then that's what made me continue. And as you know, with, with any silicone or any of these implants, the inflammatory reaction can start years later. We all want to look good, but you have to be careful. The first thing that people see when they look at you is your face. That's the first thing. And I had to go through that horrible experience of having a distorted mm -hmm. face, the surgery. I was told that the surgery would take a little over an hour. I was on the table for about almost four hours. When she first came in to me, she said, I, I feel like a monster because she had these huge nodules on the side of her face. What I would like to do is if the two of you are, are willing, is to actually take a closer look. Good. So you, you started on her left cheek, correct? Right. This, this cheek was much worse. She really had some very large nodules. So did a facelift incision mm -hmm. so that we'd have access through a flap to try to get to some of these nodules. And, and I understand, Dr. Martin, that you literally described what you found in here, the consistency of rock. It was like a rock. It felt like you were cutting into concrete. Rarely can you remove all of it because right. it's so intertwined with the muscles of your face, the vessels, the nerves. So this is the medical grade silicone that is available to us. Now, wasn't this more like the container that you would see? And they would draw it out with a they syringe. They draw it out with a syringe and then inject it in me. And, and you started off flat chested, correct? I, so you, I did. So your I augmentation did. has all been done with what you... With um, whatever substance she Either used. silicone or, or mineral oil. I do feel some areas of a little bit of lumpiness. So you need to have an expert look at this yearly. And what is the, the message? Don't do it. Go to a certified plastic surgeon because you could become very, very ill or even die. And I know that that's what could have happened to me.